Hey beautiful people, hey babes. So we're about to get into this frontal transparent lace wig installment. I'm starting off by curling my client hair. I'm using a one inch barrel from Baby Blist. It is absolutely amazing. I've had this curling wand for more than two to three years now. So if you need a great curling wand to give you that big beach body wave curl that you're looking for, the Baby Bliss is your girl. I will have every single item I'm gonna be using linked in the bio, so do not worry about none of that. So let's begin this class tutorial. One more thing before I get into it. This month of December is free game December. I need you to turn on your notification post right now. Subscribe to this channel right now because I'm gonna be giving you guys videos back to back to back. Free game on how to maintain your hair, style your hair, anything hair related, your girl got you for the month of December. So to curl your hair, you want to always apply heat protectant. Before putting any kind of heat on hair, you have to apply heat protectant. The heat protectant is protecting your hair from the heat. For example, if you straighten your hair often, you're going to cause some kind of damage to the hair. So the heat protectant is that barrier from the hair extensions and the heat without it causing too much damage. And it also um, leaves your hair with like a little bit of shine as well without leaving it super oily or weighing it down. The heat protectant of my choice is the Chi Silk Fusion Heat Protectant. To curl this hair, I am using the one inch barrel. I'm parting the hair, taking a medium section, starting from the base of the hair, you're going to attach the hair through the curling wand in one hand in the opposite hand you're gonna hold the end of the hair so that you have something to base the hair on so you have something to guide your hair on basically so to explain this again you're gonna take a small section in your right hand you're gonna have the curling wand in your left hand you're gonna have the piece of hair holding in your hand so that you have something to work with you don't just want to have the hair flapping down you want to hold it and have a base to the hair so that's what we're doing right now once you slide the hair through the curling wand all the way to the bottom it's going to leave you with like a small inch of the hair in your hand you're going to leave that in your hand for at least three seconds so that the curls can hold into place then you drop it like as of right now we're turning the wand that little piece we're leaving it in our hands for three seconds and then we drop it so we're doing that again we're taking the hair from the base we're curling it and then we're going to drop it now we're coming to the front of the hair mind you if you're interested in learning detail curling i'm going to link that on this video as well i do have a detail how to curl but this video is all about transparent lace frontal installment so let's get to the part that you're here for i have already applied the bald cap on my client um i have already applied the glue the glue of my choice for today is the hair erica hold me down glue love it with the passion to cut the lace if this is not a beginner friendly i'm not even gonna lie to y'all this is if you know what you are doing <laughs> if you're a beginner i will refer, i will recommend you using a um what is it called the razor comb or the the comb or the scissors that has the jagged ends you can either use the um teasing to scissors that have the jagged ends or you can use the razor comb so i'm using a direct razor blade and i'm getting super close to the lace in her hairline i start off by cutting it into two then i work on one section which is the left side and i fully cut that down to remove the access lace this is one side that we worked on now we're gonna move to the opposite side which is the right side what I'm doing is I'm going under the lace so I can see, like I want to be so close to the hairline and the lace. So I'm putting the razor comb underneath and I'm sliding down gently, slowly while I take away the access lace from my client using the razor comb. Again, if you are not at least an expert level, this is going to be a little bit scary because like you don't want to cut your client, you don't want to cut yourself. So what you can use instead, you can always use a teasing scissors that has the jagged ends or you can use the razor comb, not the razor itself. 
So this tool that I'm using right now is the razor comb. That little tool right there that has the razor on it but in like a comb form, that is what beginners should use. I like to use the razor comb to remove any excess um, lace that is there that the razor blade it can get but again i like to be on the safe side i don't want to cut anybody so the comb makes it easier to get those really really small ones without any damage or injury happening so i did come closer what i'm doing is i'm lifting up the lace in the front using the little hair and i'm taking the razor comb again i'm using under i'm sorry that my hands is in the way but i'm gonna move soon so you guys can see better what i'm talking about like again i'm taking you see how that little piece right there right there we don't want that we want to be so so close right so we can either cut it or you can use like leftover glue and just lay it back down so before i got to the point of using the glue i did cut off all the access off and now i'm just adding a little bit of the glue onto it the hair the hair by erica glue i'm adding a little bit of that onto it and now i'm just melting it back in I don't like to use my fingers to melt it, so I'm going to use the razor comb and just tap that down so that it is laid. And again, any little flaps that the actual glue, the first time we went through and put the wig on, any flap that the glue missed, you can just take um, a little bit of access and lay it on top of it. It's nothing dramatic. It's going to happen. Once you lay your first layer of glue, you cut the lace off. You're going to have some spots that you have to go over just to press down. So always keep a little bit a little bit of glue handy and we should be good to go. So this is the opposite side of um, her head. Um, again, did you just see what I did? That little lifting needs to be laid down. And we're going to work on the ear flap as of right now. So this is what I was explaining on the opposite side. All that access lace does not need to be there so i'm taking my razor comb and i'm just cutting off the access lace look at her eyebrow and look where the lace is ending if i would have left that there her eyebrows would have been 18 up so you just need to just check on the person's head to just see okay how is their facial structure and what needs to be removed or what can be stayed there so i'm just checking to make sure all of that is fine as of right now the sides are okay now we're gonna move on to the ear flap. Looking at the ear flap, do you see her ear flap is currently folded? I'm taking a small scissors, take a very small scissors. Don't use big old scissors, oh, don't do it. Take a small scissors, again, underhand, watching where her ears is, removing her ears <laughs> to make sure it's laying properly. And then you're gonna take the ear flap of the wig and laying it down onto the glue, secured. Now to mold the hair down and remove any flyaways, I'm using the Nairobi mousse just to mold the hair back and remove any flyaways. The mousse should not lift or do any damage to your hair, it's just laying it down and molding it flat. Next, I'm gonna use a elastic band to push the lace, the glue, her skin, all together so that they are melted this little tool right here the elastic band is what actually melts everything together it's melting the lace the skin and the glue is adding pressure on all those three things so that is everything is stuck and properly intact get yourself a elastic band i will add this into the link too so check the description box y'all so once we add the elastic band on, now we're going to let this sit. You can either do two things. You can put your client or yourself under a dryer, or you can let it sit and style the hair, do other things at least for 30 minutes, and you'll be good to go. 
in my case i'm going to just style the back of the hair continue curling while the front of the hair is sitting and melting i have the elastic band on her right now and now the back of the hair i'm going to continue curling so in the time that we're curling let's talk about transparent lace let's talk about it let me tell you what it is and what is not transparent lace is a white lace piece that has no color on it unless you guess transparent switch lace that's different transparent lace in itself is a lace that is fine and it has no color the benefit of transparent lace it's great to be customized so if the person has light fair or white skin it matches perfectly if the person like my client has brown skin i'm able to tint the lace to match her perfectly if she had dark skin i can tint the lace which is already white and apply color to it that's why it is transparent you can apply color and make it what you want right the problem with transparent lace it's so white if you just apply it to your skin and you're a brown or dark skin girl the benefits are not gonna be there so for example look at the lace as of right now do you see the white hue that is going on that is because right now i have not tinted the lace so it's giving me that white hue kind of effect right and the white hue is mostly from the temple of her head. If you look directly forward, it's giving that white flash flashback. To avoid the white flashback, you will have to tint the lace. Um, continue watching. I am going to show the tinting process. But I just want to tell you guys what transparent lace is and what is not. Transparent lace is great for everybody. The only thing is you just have to color it to match you. If you are buying transparent lace and thinking, I can just take this, bleach it, and put it on my skin, it's going to blend perfectly, that's not going to be the case. All right? So moving on, I part the hair. Um, she wanted to do a deep side part. I parted the hair. Now I'm using my hot comb to lay everything flat down. The hot comb is your best friend, y'all. If you don't have a hot comb, you do wigs, you do lace, you do hair on yourself on the client you're missing out the hot comb is what is going to make your hair super laid super flat and super melted like the top of your hair needs to be flat right the hot comb is what you're looking for so right now i'm just sectioning the hair making sure that all the tracks from the back is also covered because if for example where the frontal is and where the bundles are in the back, there is a track that will be showing. So what you want to do to cover that, you're going to take a piece of the frontal hair and pull it to the back and make sure all of that is blended together. You can use your hot comb or a barrel, the barrel that we're using right now, and flatten the two down together. Continue styling the hair, making sure everything looks great. And the cap that I used was poking out. You see that? I had to cut that out. All right, now we are at the finale. I'm about to give y'all the sauce to how you can make your transparent lace melt right here. This is it. This is called a lace tint. I am using the color caramel on my client. I have sprayed the lace tint on directly on the lace then i'm using the elastic band again and i'm wrapping it you can use up to how many layers of the lace tent to match the client complexion as of right now i've only used one layer and i'm wrapping her 
then I'm going to blow dry this. You don't have to put your client under the dryer for this step. Um, the tent actually dries super fast. So a quick blow dry is good to go. Make sure that you put the elastic band directly on top of the lace on top of where you put the tent on. A little bit about the lace tent itself. A lace tent is a liquid that has color on it, that has pigment in the liquid. The pigment in the liquid is going to stain the transparent white lace applying color is giving it that color that you want you can always use makeup yes but makeup can be washed off so the lace tint is staining the lace and staying onto the lace so let's see how the first layer looks i'm gonna unravel her now this is the first layer do you see the whiteness has came down a little bit all right cool but with that being said, we want to do another layer. I did go back in and add another layer on the sides mostly um, and on top because those are the spots that to me was looking the whitest. So I add another layer and then I'm going to rewrap her, re-blow dry it and check one more time. Again, if the person is a darker complexion like myself, girl, you better keep adding them layers, drop, drop, drop until you see that lace is the exact color. If the person is light bright they don't need much tinting the lace is already transparent in itself so you don't have to do much work with it if the person is brown skin i use at least two to three layers on her because she's more of like a brown um olive skin tone and right now i'm just blow drying and then we're gonna remove the band one more time to see how it looks Here is the finished look of the third layer of tinting. The white is completely gone now. And now the lace is looking like her skin tone. I'm going to have my client just rotate for y'all. Let's check it out. Check, check, check it out. Ooh, what you see? What you see? What you get? Yes, I love it. Lace tint will also be linked in the bio. Like I said, don't worry, y'all. I got you. This whole month is free game, free hair game. So what you need, comment down below. I'm going to teach you everything I know. I am Gifty, the gift to your hair, located in Brooklyn Park, Minnesota. Now I'm just adding some finishing touches on the hair. Did her baby hair. I'm going to take the wrap and i'm going to then just wrap the baby hair making sure that everything is neat cute and you know laid and we're gonna put her under the dryer so i do put her under the dryer for this part because i want the baby hair to be like on her head and not move none of that so i put at least two um paper wrap on her hair and then i put her under the dryer and then that's basically it for this entire look um, I hope you guys learned a lot about transparent lace. Let me know which part was your favorite and comment down below the next video you want to see. Stay tuned for free game December. Bye, beautiful people. Like, comment, and subscribe.